guess what I have? <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, this is the quarterly young adult subscription box quarter two, which was curated by Beth Ravis, and it has her new book in it and some other stuff. And I'm so excited! So, as you can see, I haven't opened it, so this is gonna be as new for me as it is for you. So, let's do this. Also, my phone, my camera battery is dying, so hopefully it doesn't die while well, I'm trying to open the best package in my life. Wait, how is that side taped? Okay, I got this. Are you ready? So you can put photos on it. Oh, cool. I don't really have that many printed photos. We'll see. We'll see how much use that gets. Here's the card. Literally YA box Beth Revis. It's hashtag L-Y-A L-Y-A O one. So maybe it's the first quarter, but this is the second quarter. We're like moving through the year. I don't know. I don't know how their system works, but this is Hashtag LYA01. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna read that later when my camera's not dying. Book plate, that's important. Ooh, okay. So we've got this. Devastated by the death of her first love, 16-year-old Jam Gallahue, Gallahue is having has is having difficulty moving on with her life. After nearly a year of her being married in her grief, her parents entered to a boarding school and roll Vermont for troubled teens. Oh, oh my god. This sounds amazing. Thank you, Beth. And then, <sighs> this book, The End or Something Like It by Anne D. Ellis. Emmy would like to think the friendship can last forever, but with Kim's chronic heart condition, Emmy knows they're running out of time. So the girls make up a plan to connect once Kim crosses over to the other side. The problem is, now that Kim is gone, Emmy can't seem to bridge, bridge the gap between real life and the afterlife. Which makes her wonder if what happened right before Kim died may have changed everything. Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! These books are really sad. <gasps> it's the big one! A World Without You by Beth Revis. This cover is really like soft. It's textured. <sighs> oh my god. <gasps> and it's got annotations. Do you see, can you see these sticky notes? There are sticky notes. Hold on, let me open one up. Sticky notes with notes from Beth. Oh, Beth. This is the best. This is like seriously the best ever. The, oh, oh, look at that chapter font. <gasps> oh, okay, I'm gonna read this immediately. Oh my god, wait, what does it look without the dust jacket on? Oh, red. Look at that, look at that. Probably has something to do with the uh, red string for the photo hanger. And then we also have Quotable notables. Emily Dickinson. Blank note card with quotes that stick. Stickers included. Oh, cool. So it's like Emily Dickinson sticker quotes with her or something? I don't know. Looks cool. And then got some Easter stuff. Oh. <laughs> That is everything that is in the glorious, glorious, glorious quarterly box. Um, I'll put a link in the description 
to the specifically YA box. Um, I don't know if they're out of this one, they probably are, but you can order next quarters, which is something, I don't know what it is. And in the meantime, I will have these to play with. And by play with, I mean read. And Beth's letter, which is like lots of pages. Ah! I'm really excited. And I worth every penny and every hour that I waited. Okay, you guys, go do whatever you're gonna do. I'll see you when I see you.